Well, uh, happy good morning to everybody. It's me, Cullen, coming to you from the Philippines. Today is the 14th of February, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody. So I'm taking some time out to do a little update on our house. Me and my wife are here in the Philippines. We've got about two more weeks to go. I'm here on a three-week vacation. So we are looking at what happened between last year when we were here in March, February, March time frame, to now. See the difference a year makes. So I'm gonna take my time and go through everything. I'm here up on the second floor, overlooking the living room, and I'll give you a little peek. And this is our living room right here. There's my lovely wife going by. She's about to prepare some food. She originally came earlier before I did because our son broke his leg. So she took off to go help him out. I think the last time I was here, all the glass panels weren't on the uh, stairs here. So all of that is complete as you see how the stairs curved and wind down. And just so you know, this is all my wife's design, how she did this up here. So it's very nice. We still have some things left to complete, but most of the painting and everything is done. She finished up some great things and the uh, bedroom. Some of this was already on our, the last video I did last year where we had the air conditioning installed. I haven't been using it, but we still have a lot of light fixtures to buy, but we're holding off on that. But the one thing that was not completed is this little balcony out here. It was actually a lot shorter but our nephew, who's an engineer, said no problem to extend it. So come on camera, focus. It's very bright out here today. So nice designs on it. My lovely wife picked up all of that. And I'll do a video on the outside there's still work being done on one of the gates. We got three big gates, two pedestrian gates to come in. And that's Toyota of Nervousia. So, but nice, clear, hot, sunny day. And as we go back in here, so me and my wife sit out here a lot in the morning, have coffee, talk nice and peaceful i think the thing we may have to look to next is putting screen doors on all the doors so there's my lovely bride coming back in I will take a shower. and she shall take a shower so we'll look at the bathroom later we're going to explore i only want to show one one thing she did I showed this before. Hi. It's okay, babe. I'm not going to disturb you. Yeah. Now, this hot water heater loves my wife. It hates me. Why? Because it won't get hot. But this is cute what she did with the towels. Hers are pink with her name on it. On it. Mine's are gray. She embroidered, embroidered my name on there. I was like, look at what my baby did. Crochet. Crochet, okay, right word. So, <clears throat> and this bathroom well, is about, here, this bathroom, it's not that wide, only a little more than five feet wide, but it's, a, it's about 17 feet long though. So, it's not too small, could be a little wider, but it's nice. So we shall get out of her way and go on to the rest of the house. So as we're moving on, but this room here over there 
It's a big bedroom too. Come on camera focus, there you go. It's where my sister-in-law is. This is my daughter's bedroom, which don't know if she's here. Which it's kind of set up in an odd way. Don't know why it's set up that way, but it is. It's not really used at all, which is a shame. Maybe we should rent this. <laughs> Just kidding. But we want to buy her all of her own furniture. This is just some old stuff left over. But we ain't gonna say too much about that. So, we move on. I'll get to this little stairwell, but this is the really big balcony that's all completed. The last time I was here, floor wasn't tiled this railing was kind of maybe halfway done so it's pretty big and you can see the view is nice it's really nice to watch the sunset in the evening here but you can really see over everything here our lovely garden that's a lot smaller, a lot less. Hello? So somebody's at the gate, but this is how big the uh, terrace is. Just a moment, I'll be there. Somebody, a visitor is coming, so just a moment. All right, we will pick up again. Just had a visitor come over. They're getting ready to go to Manila. One of my brother-in-laws is in the hospital, had surgery. He's being picked up today. He's doing well. That is a very good thing. So anyway, this is a look at the other bigger terrace we have. And we, of course, have another bedroom here. We have four bedrooms upstairs, two downstairs. That is gonna be for our oldest daughter, Christine. We have furniture made to set out here from a big old tree we had chopped down, made some very nice furniture out of it. So it'll be set out here so we as a family can sit and relax and have coffee or whatever. And there's also, we want to get a sink put here just to clean stuff out that we may serve out there. We have a little, another entrance. We have about four entrance exit ways out of this house. If you come down this hallway from our bedroom and go right through here, you can go down to what? Filipinos call it a dirty kitchen. I call it a kitchen because it's not like anything else anybody else has built. We got a little spiral staircase that goes down to the kitchen. Turn this light off. Well, we'll close this door here first. And go down the spiral staircase. Yes, it's built for a Filipino, not for those big old fat Americans, but it's nice. So, it's another way to go downstairs that is, stairs that come down to we built or my wife had this idea well she built the whole house 
So, and here is the so-called dirty kitchen, which we're probably gonna change a lot cause right now we have a lot of stuff stored here that we bought over time. But her idea with this setup here in this grill is electricity, something for gas, something for wood, because you know in the Philippines you have lots of storms. So whatever happens, we can cook. Over here we bought a bunch of these metal shells and put them together. This is full of brand new stuff to be used later in the house. Pots, pans, dishes, electronic kitchen gadgets, you name it, it's all there. But I wanna get rid of all these shelves and um, I'll buy some cabinets. So right now, it's a kitchen slash storage room. We wanna get another bigger fridge. Actually, I wanna to try to divide it up, go buy a washing machine and dryer, put here. See, here's another way to go out of the house. So we have currently one, two, three, four or five different exits. So this is, got some workers still working on building the driveways. The big gate over here I built, my sister-in-law bought this property here. This other gate right in front of us. That's gonna kind of be my driveway. I'm buying a truck as soon as I get here next year. So we still got a lot, of, a lot to do landscaping wise, but, but we built everything onto the house. So you can say, I'm still not, I wanna get a regular oven, but it's gonna be hard. I don't really, ain't used to the gas thing. I like to get an electric oven. I got to work on the solar power thing when the storms go out cause that was terrible. But anyway, this is the so-called dirty kitchen, which is very big. We debated about, say, I'm gonna go back in here, debated about putting an island in the middle, but we have to, there's a lot of things we have to do. It's a work in progress. So from the dirty kitchen, you come out on the terrace that's downstairs. We had a kitchen built inside the house. We'll get to that. But this is the long terrace where we can set out. It's got some bars. We did a debate about the bars upstairs and we're still working on stuff. So this is the view from here. With the fence, we have a lot more privacy and we'll get to that. So entering the kitchen now, as, as we are changing the name to the dining room, but we still have everything in here stove too if you want to cook because this is the original kitchen and it's one of my relatives Eddie's here say hi he's part of the crew that's going to pick up my brother-in-law here so like right where this shrunk is at going about here this used to be a fake wall I probably have to piece together another video. When that came down, it really opened up the house. So this is the living room. I was up there earlier. It looks really big now, but it won't be that big once we get furniture in here. And this is some of the furniture we had made from that big tree. And there are a lot more pieces. Some of them are stored away in the bedroom upstairs. Like all of this will actually go 
upstairs on the balcony. Got these big, beautiful glass doors. You see this concrete slab out here. We're gonna build a room, so, because when storms come, it gives these doors a hard time. Besides, people don't lock them correctly anyway. That's one thing I was pointing out. You got locks on the bottom, uh, the top, and locks on the bottom to stabilize the door. Everybody got a habit of only locking these two up here and not down there. So when the wind is pushing and sucking, the door rattles like crazy, it's gonna fall apart because they don't know how to lock it. And on the windows, there's always issues we have. We put very nice screens on everything because in the Philippines, you have a lot of mosquitoes. It's very hard to get people to not open the screens. There's 20 damn windows in this place to open, but they think there's more air would come in the room if you open up the screen. Problem is, birds love this place because before the windows were all on, they had nests built all up there. So we had to get people with scaffolding to go up there. And here, another terrace. My, this is my son's room here. So this was just finished. It was actually finished twice now. The sad part, the workers did such a shitty job putting all these tiles on. They literally fell off. My wife had to have somebody come over, which is actually a family member, to retile everything. And they didn't do it with the color tiles that we wanted. This was all white, just like the living room even though we told them what color tiles to put on there, it got changed because they said, oh, it looks better, it matches the living room. We don't want it to match the living room. So that's problems you have when you're not here. People just do things. So as you see, there's a lot of work going on to finish up the driveway. over there. Mine's is not such a big thing to finish yet because I ain't here, but. And that's the walkway that my wife built. Coming from, you got a pedestrian gate there, two gates to drive in there. And on the other side of the house, you have another gate to drive in and another pedestrian gate. So she's got five of them. But one of her relatives, did all of this, made this, put it together, the design and everything, just like the fence. I'm a Saints fan, so I picked those tips that we bought, a couple hundred of those things that are put all around. One fell off, as you can see, like right there, the very first one. But it's nice. Fence is very nice. So as we go back in, by the way, the bedroom, this was our bedroom, but we were nice enough to give it to our son. It has a huge bathroom, a walk-in closet and such, but we're overseas, so we let him have it. And the room we're in, the bedroom I was in at first, up there, that was his room. But he's a very nice guy, so I told him I'll let him rent it for a little while for him not to forget it's still my bedroom because I didn't want to walk upstairs. So, we got a lot of landscaping left to do, but this is the pedestrian gate, the steps and all to walk up. The pretty design on the railing, very nice. The things she picked out. Oh, I guess I, here's one thing I miss. 
my wife put our initials up there on the ceiling on this terrace and on the next one with her name, Bailey, and me, Cullen. That's her little added touch. Something unique. So we're gonna go back inside. And that's really, I'm gonna just show the initials on the, um, hey, back. that's my lovely sister-in-law. They're all getting ready to go. So I'm gonna show one last thing, and that will do it for the inside of the house. And when you walk up here, you still see the same thing, FC. And she had the light fixture made like a heart. There's two hearts. So, nobody has that. <laughs> so that's what my sweetheart then did. So, that is a tour.